This is the Wook Studio Morandi. It's a pretty decent linear, and it's actually pretty deep for what it is. It just has one flaw. The stem is way too loose, which makes for very wobbly keycaps. For quite some time now, I've been looking for a replacement stem to make this Wook Studio much better than it already is. I recently came across a batch of switches that I'd had for a while, and I had completely forgot about them. The switch I've hardly seen. It is a Kale Turbo Silver. And instead of actually having wing legs, it has four leg pin top. But it has this very interesting stem. You see, there's a, one very interesting thing about this stem, it actually has a completely flat bottom. There is no point, there is no peak, it is just a flat bottom. So not only does this stem fit quite well into the Mirandi housing, it has the most minimal north to south wobble, I mean just a tad, and almost no, no east to west wobble. And it has a very solid strike. As you can see, it's a, it's a tad bit long pole. There's a little bit of it that's sticking out. Let me see if I can actually get a measurement on this. 18. About a 3.7. A 3.7, 3.8, I would guess, actually. So it's not quite long pole in here, but though it's not really a long pole stem as it doesn't have that flat. So I went ahead and made an entire batch of these, which I'm calling the Silver Bullet. And despite me having reviewed some really thocky linear switches lately, I tend to believe, I mean, it could just be a placebo effect, but I tend to believe that this is one of the deeper linear switches that I've come across. So I went ahead and made up a batch of Silver Bullets and I loaded them up on a Momoka Zoo 65 and I gotta say, I can't think of another switch that sounds deeper. Now this has been modded. I have PET below the PCB, PET on the PCB, and IXPE foam, as well as a Tempest tape mod. Um, those are the mods on here. It has an FR4 plate. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test. Now, I know the Kale Turbos are, are kinda hard to find. I'm going to guess that maybe the regular Kale speed silvers will work. I know that the the Gainron silvers stem didn't really work that well in here as it still had a lot of wobble but with this kale turbo stem it's actually quite nice and quite deep. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of my Franken switch the silver bullet which is basically just the housing and the spring of a Wook Studio Morandi and the stem of a kale turbo silver. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll do my best to respond to it as soon as possible. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.